it is Thursday. We leave early in the morning Friday for our water test. So he's getting a bath and our guest should be arriving in about 30 minutes. And I want to show you her van because it is amazing. The setup is like ideal. That is what I want eventually. But yeah, he's getting a bath and we will leave in the morning at like six o'clock. It's only, we're only driving like eight hours ish. So um, it shouldn't be too bad. And I'm taking Duke and Boomer. It is 5.30 in the morning. We are leaving for Kansas. We've got Duke and Boomer in the back. It is seven. We have driven driven for two hours. We are two hours in and we've got six hours to go. Alright, we just potty doof. It is 2.30. We've made it here finally. The boys did great and we are going to practice today and the test is tomorrow and so the test is a two day test, so it's Saturday and Sunday and it is Friday and so we're gonna get out, get practiced, and then get some sleep. All right, test day one.
are swimming. Yeah, you are
that is it. That was our water test experience. It is thundering and lightning, so I'm sorry if you hear that. Um, I wanted to go over a few things. So you saw Duke run first, and that was Duke's day one. Um, Duke day two ran, he got zoomies and ran out of the test site during the take a line and was disqualified from the second day. So it was really funny and it was fine. Um, and then Boomer, day one, which you didn't see, he passed everything except he um, stepped into the boat on the last exercise, which you saw me kind of freaking out and going, okay, come on, come on, come on, because day one, he stepped into the boat and that's what failed us. That's, he did everything though perfectly day one. So I am super happy with that. For those asking, we have one more test and it is our home test here in Texas and that's Old West Newfoundland Club, and we will be bumping him up to X, WRDX, and I'm not sure if he is totally ready for that endurance-wise. He knows all the exercises, but it's gonna be an endurance thing. So, for the time being, we have a few weeks, three weeks from the test, so I will be swimming him four days a week, four to five days a week, and doing endurance work and trying to get that endurance up. I want, to, for those who don't understand the exercises and all that, I'm gonna post a link below with the water test regulations and the divisions and what the exercises are so you can go over that if you're curious about that and if you're curious on where to start. The website that I will post has all that outlined really well. I also wanna say thank you for all the congratulations and the messages and the comments um, on our Instagrams and Facebook and um, people that have reached out to me personally. Uh, it has been a ton of work and it was just a huge relief to pass something that I knew he was highly capable of. This dog, when he was six months old and I brought him out to training for the first time, like everyone there was like, that's next dog, that's next dog, which is the advanced level. And so in the beginning, I didn't really understand what that meant. I didn't I thought they were just being nice about a dog with some enthusiasm, but no, I am seeing um, everything that people have spoken over him and said he's gonna do this and this and this. He is proving them right, doing everything. Not to say that we haven't put in the work and I have not evolved greatly as a trainer in water, but um, yeah. I also wanna thank the people that have poured into us since Boomer was six months old. I couldn't thank those people enough for pouring into us and giving us the tools that it takes to let him become what he was meant to become. So um, that seems deep and all that, but I just am so thankful for the people that are out there every, every week with me, sometimes without a dog, just because they believe in us that much and they wanna help us that much. So yeah, I thank my OWNC family that have got me started. We will keep you updated on our X adventures. Thank you for all the love. I hope you could see the excitement um, through that video and we will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.